Hey there and welcome. Exactly 30 years ago my father took me the first time to the hunt. I was a little boy but proud and more than happy to make my first little steps to become once a hunter. I had quickly realized that chamois hunting is something of the most breathtaking you can experience in the nature of the Alps. Today I still go side by side with my father to the mountains. Sometimes I join him as a hunter carrying a rifle too, but sometimes I just take my camera, like I did it on this one day of hunting, somewhere in September, somewhere in the Swiss canton of Grison. The hunting day began with the uncertainty of dawn. A day has its own dynamic life. When we stand in the fog, the chamois often look down to the clouds. If the animals don't come to you, then you have to approach them. But without letting them see, smell or hear you. The effort had been worthwhile, but the distance between Hunter and Chemois was still too big. The fog. Sometimes it is a friend and sometimes it is an enemy of the Hunter. Tony took the fog that day as a cover to bypass the Chemois. Fog is unpredictable. It can go as fast as it came. That's why there was no time to lose. Apparently everything had worked out well. Tony could bypass the chamois. The wind rushed also always nice upward without betraying the smell of the hunter. But the chamois had also moved in the fog. As the fog thinned, Tony sat there alone. All Shemo were gone. But the hunting day was still young. Enough time for another try. This was no more fog. These were clouds. Hunting between two worlds. be a successful hunter, experience is extremely valuable. Tony knew at this location often stops by a chamois buck. He listened to his gut feeling and loaded the hunting rifle.
the moment seemed already on the side of the chamois. The curiosity. It caused the chamois' life. The animal fell like a stone. A quick death. Tony had his prey. Quickly and cleanly. This wonderful creature came to an end. His venison is the gift. A first inspection of the Chemois age. Tony prefers young bucks. Their meat tastes better and they are a smaller loss for the population than the older ones. This buck was four year old. Species, time of the kill, sight and sex. Collection of data and the control is part of a civilized modern hunting. A hunted game has to be eviscerated within an hour. Otherwise, the quality of the meat is already suffering. And every hunter should know that the biggest appreciation that you can bring to a prey is to perfectly use it. At the end of a successful Shemo hunting day, you face the hardest part of hunting in the mountains. My grandfather and my father Tony taught me who is going to hunt a chamois in the wonderful mountains of the Alps has simply the duty to carry the killed animal hornerful and on his own back to the valley. And on the first mountain pines this buck got his last bite.